Danielle Tucker. For those of you who don't know me, I've been with um, the children's ministry here for I don't know how long, um, but it's one of my favorite things. And for my kiddos out there, I so miss you guys so much. Um, and it's been way too long that we, um, since we've gotten to hang out. And I cannot wait for us to get back together and play some crazy games such as statue tag or tunnel tag or poop deck with you guys when we get back together. Um, but I know our big picture question uh, lately has been, is there anything God cannot do? And I know if you guys are right here in front of me, all of you would be bouncing up and down, waiting to answer this question, um, trying to get me to pick you so you can get a piece of candy. Um, so I'm gonna say if you have a piece of candy, you all get it, because I know you all know the answer is no, there's nothing that God cannot do. Um, so we're gonna jump into our video now, and we are going to see what impossible thing God did for Moses and the people of Israel. After the first Passover, the Israelites quickly left Egypt. The Lord led the people toward the Red Sea and the wilderness. As they traveled, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to lead them during the day. At night, God was in a pillar of fire to give them light so they could travel by day or by night. God told Moses to have the people camp near the sea. God said that Pharaoh would change his mind one more time and chase the Israelites. God planned to prove to the Israelites that he is God. Pharaoh and his officials did change their minds. Pharaoh got in his chariot and took his army with him. He pursued the Israelites and caught up with them where they were camping near the sea. The Israelites saw the Egyptians coming and they were afraid. We are going to die, they said. We should have never left Egypt. But Moses said, do not be afraid. God brought you here and he will fight for you. God told Moses what to do. Stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Then God moved behind the Israelites to hold back the Egyptians for the night. In the morning, Moses stretched out his hand and divided the sea. The Israelites walked through with walls of water on both sides. The Egyptians went after them. As soon as the Israelites were safely on the other side of the sea, Moses stretched out his hand again and the waters returned, covering the Egyptians and killing all of Pharaoh's army. None of them survived. When the Israelites saw what had happened, they feared God and believed that he had sent Moses to lead them. Moses and the Israelites sang a song to the Lord. The Lord is my strength and my song, they said. He has become my salvation. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and God provided a way for them to escape through the Red Sea. The Bible says that Jesus is greater than Moses. People who trust in Jesus escape the penalty of sin and have eternal life. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for questions from kids. Chloe from Louisville, Colorado asks, Sometimes I'm afraid. How can God help me when I'm afraid? Great question. You know, we see this in today's Bible story. The children of Israel were trapped between a body of water on one side and a really angry Egyptian army on the other side coming after them. And so they were terrified and they cried out to God in fear for him to rescue them. And that's exactly what we see God do. He provided rescue for them through his power. I love what it says in there when Moses told his people just to be quiet and watch what God was gonna do. It reminds us that God is the one who takes care of us because he loves us. And so that's what we have to remember. There are times in life when we will be afraid, but we always can remember that God loves us. He's all powerful and he'll take care of us and he'll rescue us from anything as well through his power. So how does God's faithfulness help you trust God when you are afraid? That 
is one of my favorite Bible stories and I just love how God is just like, here is an impossible task that I'm putting in front of you. And they're all just like, I have no idea what to do. And then he's like, here's the simple answer. You just gotta trust me and I can lead you where you need to go. And he protected them, he kept them safe. And I bet they were thinking it's the coolest thing ever walking through those, um, through the Red Sea, seeing this sea just part before them and walking through on dry land even. It, they didn't even get their shoes all muddy. Um, but, and then just seeing it close in on their enemy behind them. God kept them safe and I know God's gonna keep us all safe and I cannot wait to see you all again. Mm -hmm.